This short abstract video is brought to you by the Galfin Group at Northwestern University. A mature oocyte, aka an egg, is the biggest cell of the whole animal body. In vertebrates, the oocyte sizes range from a couple of hundred microns to several millimeters, with the largest cell champion of the Austrian egg sized at 15 centimeters by 13 centimeters. Now you may ask, how does an oocyte grow so big? In this study published in Current Biology, we used Drosophila melanogaster, the fruit flies, as a model organism to study the oocyte growth. A newly specified oocyte in the Drosophila ovary has a diameter less than 5 microns. But this tiny cell manages to grow to a massive 500 by 200 by 200 micron egg within a couple of days. More remarkably, in spite of this dramatic cell size increase, the oocyte remains transcriptionally silent throughout most of the orogenesis, which means it needs a super strong supporting system to provide the materials for its rapid growth. And here come the best allies of the oocyte, the nerve cells. Nerve cells are the sister cells of the oocyte and remain connected with the developing oocyte through intercellular cytoplasmic bridges called the ring canals. During early orogenesis, nerve cells become highly polyploid and become well prepared for nursing the oocyte. The nerve cell provide mRNAs, proteins, and organelles to the oocyte through the ring canals and deposit these materials inside the oocyte. Here we ask the big question, what controls the cargo transport from the nerve cell to the oocyte? In this study, we find that the acting fibers are asymmetrically localized on the nerve cell side of the ring canal, and an acting microtubule crosslinker called Shastop is localized to these acting fibers through its antenatal acting binding domains. In turn, Shastop can interact with microtubules, especially the microtubule plus ends via its C-terminal microtubule interacting tail, and therefore organizes microtubule growth within the ring canals. This asymmetric shot stop organizes microtubules with more plus ends growing from the oocyte to the nerve cells. This microtubule orientation allows minus end directed loaded DNA to transport various cargoes from the nerve cell to the oocyte. What happens if there's no shot stop at the ring canals? The absence of shot stop results in microtubules in the ring canal of mixed polarity, which leads to bidirectional transport by DNA. Therefore, the OSI failed to acquire cytoplasmic contents and do not grow over time. Altogether, we propose that shot stop is a gatekeeper at the ring canals and controls Drosophila OSI growth.